I'm going to be looking at the Creality Space PI filament dryer. Now this is adjustable temperature, real time humidity monitoring, drying time setting, one key set for 12 filaments and 360 PTC hot air heating. I'm just going to have a look what's inside. Now I won this from the uh, Creality online show they do, the live show. It's quite fortunate to win it so I thought I'd uh, give it a review and see how it works and see how I get along with it. Then you've got a bit of pipe in there for your filament. Here's the main unit. That comes with a UK plug for the uh, power adapters internal. That's the main unit. And uh, I'm going to set that up on my Ender 5 S1 and give it a try out and then I'll come back with that. I've had this fitted to my Ender 5 S1 for several weeks now. I just removed the filament spool holder and it goes below the uh, run out sensor. Now I'm just changing the filament here. I've got a PLA matte pink in and I'm going to put a PLA yellow in because I want to print a little phone holder. Changing the filament is fairly straightforward. I think I've probably ran about uh, 14 kilograms of filament through using this system now. Well, the easiest way to do it is just sit the roll back with the lid open and feed it through the pipe and then it's all fed through the printer system. Once you've got the filament out the other side you can put the reel back in place and uh, close the lid. It sits quite nicely next to the printer, although I would have liked it to go back a little bit and uh, go directly into the filament sensor, but unfortunately the way my printer sits I couldn't go back any further with it. I'm just feeding the filament through the hot end now to get it ready for printing. Once that's ready I'll set it off with a print and I'll go for the menu system on the filament dryer. What I will do first when I start it up is I'll put a decibel meter on it so you can see how loud it is. The main power switch is at the back and then you've just got the touch screen controls on the front. Now I'm setting this up for PLA and I'll set it for about three hours which is around about the time the print takes. This is just a simple decibel meter on my phone, but it'll show the difference uh, between no sound and the uh, filament dryer. Here I'm showing the menu system up close. There's just a little power button to switch it on. It's all touch screen at the top. You can switch it between Fahrenheit and centigrade, whatever your preference is. Then you can manually change the temperature if you want to set it. Or there's presets there that give you suggested temperatures for the filament you're using. Then finally at the bottom you've got the time, you can set it sets in hours, I'm setting it for 3 hours 
and then away it goes. Here's the print I'm doing, as I say it's a simple little phone holder and this is showing it on my Sonic pad. Now it's just about to start the print. Um, overall with this, yeah, it, it does a good job. I, I mainly use PLA, so I don't have a lot of moisture problems, but yeah, I'm pleased with it. It's, uh, I'm getting really good consistency out of my prints and not had any issues at all. Yeah, I'm just going back to the print when it's uh, about 75% done. Nice clean print, no issues at all. And that's about it for my video. If you uh, like what you've seen, please like and subscribe. It's always most appreciated. And thank you for watching.